Hello everybody, here's some batteries to um, take your attention rather than just filming a blank floor while I talk about these recent acquisitions. Um, I will show them but you know for now let's just look at these exciting batteries. Um, I've been um, helping someone clear out their attic and they were just throwing loads of stuff in a skip so I was like hey can I have these things? They said yes. So, um, yeah, I've got a few more things to show, random pickups. Um, most of them are of a gaming nature, more tabletop gaming than computer gaming, which is something else that I, you know, another type of gaming I enjoy. Um, I'm not a massive tabletop gamer, I just kind of play Carcassonne and Dominion, and that's probably about it, really. Um, but it's something that I've always had a bit of an interest in and um, anyway I'll, I'll talk about it a bit more so anyway the first couple of things I picked up I'm trying to get them on camera is well things I found randomly in the bottom of a bag yeah, these uh, metal Warhammer 40k miniatures there's the first one this is nine from you can read along the bottom I don't know if you can make it out a marine captain space marine captain and this is from 1990. Um, yeah, Warhammer. I've always really loved the um, miniature painting aspect of it. It's not something I'm like I've done a lot of, but I've always loved like um, looking in the White Dwarf magazines at people's uh, miniature painting. It's something I've always wanted to get into, but I've never really had the money or the patience to do. Um, I think I'd like to just paint the miniatures rather than play the game because, well, no, I'd like to play the game as well, but you know, I don't know anyone else who would be into it or want to play it or would have the patience to teach me how to play it. Um, and plus, it's just such an expensive thing buying all the miniatures and building an army. Um, but now and then, I do find the odd miniatures. I've got a few little miniatures that I keep thinking that I've got, I want to paint these. I want to learn to paint miniatures really well. You can see someone's already had a go of this one, but um, it's not a very good job. Looks like they started and gave up halfway through. And uh, there was probably something on the back. From what I, I looked it up online, and it looks like there was like a some kind of backpack that goes on here that's missing. So it's got a kind of uneven stump. I might have to try and find something to put on there. But anyway, I might make videos of. Um, me painting the miniatures on this channel it's vaguely gaming related um, and there you go, there's the marine captain and uh, there's another one which is more well in my opinion more interesting it's hard to make out because of the crappy paint is just covered over all the details but um this is a 1988, um, what was it called? Champion, Champion Nurgle, I think. I, it, I had to really Google it and try and find out with no knowledge really of the 40k universe or anything. I had to try to, I'm just Googling like fly headed Warhammer miniature and things like that until something came up. Well, yeah, I don't know, you can't really see, but he's got a little fly head, and it kind of reminded me, like, while I was Googling it all, it kind of reminded me of another thing that I really like about the Warhammer games, is um, all the, like, fiction and the artwork surrounding the, the miniatures and the games. Um, like, when, when I was a kid, um, me and my brother both got these, um, you know, you can get, like, Warhammer starter sets, and they're basically like big boxes and you get like a few bits of cardboard terrain and then you get like a few miniatures to play with and have like a, a starter battle and then you get all the rule books in there oh, my camera doesn't want to focus on this but well anyway um, I got uh, my brother got the 40k box and I got one called Necromunda and um, I remember just really loving reading through all the the rule books because it had all this like amazing artwork in there 
and uh, you know I've always been interested in art and um, all these like backstories and things all these like really really amazing like stories and stuff just just like the, the way they build the world um, I always found, found really incredible and so you know I wish I did have more patience to actually learn the rules and things back then I did, we didn't really, we were just kids so we didn't really have the patience to actually learn to play the game properly but I did used to spend a long time reading the books and looking at the artwork and stuff and the people's painted miniatures so um, yeah that's that and these are as I was reading through these are like the Nurgle are like kind of uh, rot chaos chaos marines or I, I don't know they're basically like rotting I don't know it's like a god of um, decay and disease and the the decay that he spreads he's got like worshippers and things and there's marines that fight for him and they're all like rotted and diseased and this guy's got a fly head yeah I mean I'm no expert on these by any means but that's from that little bit I read I thought wow that's yeah that reminds me of like what I used to really like about these these things are what got me interested in 40, 40k in Warhammer in the beginning um, so yeah I might do some videos of me painting them I'm gonna have to strip the paint off them to begin with this one's got a really awful paint job I don't know what the hell they were thinking whoever painted this anyway there we go two little miniatures and I've spent six seven minutes really talking about nonsense Here's another thing I got. I'll zoom out a little bit. <coughs> it's the uh, a tiger handheld game. It's uh, Treasure Trolls. How ugly! Look at that one with the ballerina dress on. That's the ugliest troll. There's one there. It's a proper tiger handheld. These were all the rage when I was a kid. Um, the only thing is it's missing uh, the back here that holds the batteries in but anyway these are what are these batteries are for I was going to test it out and see if it actually actually works oh shit yeah it does well I can't see anything on that screen Turning that sound off, that's the most irritating sound. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but there's like things floating across the top of the bottom of the screen, and I'm moving that thing across the top. And then, oh, I have no idea what's going on. None of this makes any sense. I'm sure there was rules with it. But there you go. So that's that was a random thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. I thought I want to try that out and see see if it works. There you go, treasure trolls. Most of these things are really naff, by the way. These things I've picked up have them. Um, you know, well, actually, they're all quite naff, apart from the miniatures. Which oh yeah, that's another thing I forgot to say. Ebay, this this figure here. I don't know about the other one, but this figure, 1988 and the Champion Nurgle or whatever it's called, 15 quid for a little bit of metal like that. Well, I guess you'd have to strip the paint off it first, but 15 quid. People are selling that for. Anyway, here's the next thing. It's uh, Adventure Park. It needs skill, but it's great fun, and it costs a whole. Two ninety nine from Phoenix in Newcastle. Can you get around before your friends? You need skill, but it's great fun. And uh, yeah, there you go. It's one of them screwball scramble type of things, but like a really cheap version. So as you can see, not really played it. I've just. Let's see if I can get the ball. Let's 
zoom in a bit. The balls are still there, the original balls because they're all like rusty and stuff. I don't know what that spit's for. Alright, put it in start. And I guess we go. Oh, I've already died. I've got to be more careful than I am. Oh, yes, I'm doing it. Shit. Okay, you can see, you can you can get the idea there. And I guess you must cheat. Let's pretend I got round. Oh, I'm in the water. Okay. Shit. Difficult game. I don't know how you're meant to get around there. I think you're supposed to jump up onto that. Yeah, like that. This is bloody awful. <laughs> Who knows? Just, it's just badly made, really. It's it doesn't the ball doesn't fly in the right direction, and it's kind of like random whether they whether you're going to succeed or not. I think. Yeah, see that that just sort of launches the ball in any direction, not towards. I think you're supposed to get it here, but oh. Oh, I see. You're supposed to bounce it into that one, then into that one. The thing is, because it's quite old, and the buttons kind of stick, so when they pop up, they really fire the ball up into the air. So there you go. That's uh, the amazing Adventure Park game. So that's that. Then anyway, the last one. This is probably the most naff of them all, but um, it's something I saw, and it's something that. When I was a kid, this was uh, this was the shit. This was the thing that everyone wanted. Dizzy, dizzy dinosaur game. Yeah. Um, it was going to get thrown out, and I was just like, I want this. Um, f my memories of dizzy, dizzy dinosaur is. Um, at, you know at the end of the school year when everyone was able to bring in their own toys or they were in my school someone would always bring in Dizzy Dizzy Dinosaur and all the, everyone would go oh my god Dizzy Dizzy Dinosaur because everyone wanted it and no one had it apart from like probably one person and then no one would actually read the rules or know the rules we would just kind of get everything out and then just just kind of piss about with a dinosaur no one would ever play it properly so I still don't know what the rules were I know you've got to go around with your people somehow get to the middle but then there's a dizzy 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 dinosaur who will I think he sort of spins around let's try I don't even know if the mechanism's still working yeah So he spins around randomly and then shoots off in one direction and knocks over whoever's in the way. And this game was quite aggressively marketed to kids in the 80s and early 90s. So of course, I, yeah, we all went crazy whenever someone bought out Dizzy Dizzy Dinosaur, but... And then no one would play it properly. We just wouldn't, you know, we'd just... Go on, go on, dinosaur! Knocking all things over! Yeah, I always felt a bit frustrated that we had never had a proper game of Dizzy Dizzy Dinosaur, so... I still don't know when I would ever get a chance to play this game. I don't know who in their right mind would play Dizzy Dizzy Dinosaur with me, but... There you go, look, it's all there, I think. Maybe there's a few bits missing. I don't know, I mean, there's... Five green ones, only four... Yellows. So, yeah, there's probably a yellow piece and a blue piece. I think there's one yellow guy missing, maybe. Yeah, so you can't play as a yellow. 
I always play as green anyway. Cool little pieces, they've got nice cartoons on them. But yeah, there you go, that's my random acquisitions. <laughs> They're really naff, but um, I'm one of them people I can't stand to see things getting thrown away. And um, I thought I'd pick them up, so maybe I could find some way to combine all these games together, like Warhammer, Dizzy Dinosaur, with uh, Shark, well, Crocodile Adventure Park mixed in the middle. I don't know, you've got to get him across the bridge. I don't know, no. Anyway, there's, there's my pickups. Amazing gaming pickups. So, thanks for watching. Bye.